times in the last two games. Two losses to Virginia and North Carolina. The Yellow Jackets hoping to steal one on the road. Here's Angola. Three is short. Rebound for Akogi. Outlet for Austin. And the team that theoretically wants to play slow scores with 27 on the shot clock. And that's what happens. You get a long shot, long rebound, great look ahead. From the short corner, Kofer brings it down. Kogi feeds Gay. And his move in the post leads to a banker for two. Well, this is, uh, this is what happened uh, last year. Georgia Tech got off to the quick start. Deep into its bench. Uh, you see the zone right there, but Chris right over the top of it. The 20th dunk of the year for Kumaji. Ball movement, Lammers have to come out to penetration, and uh, Kumaji, I don't even think really how to even jump on that lob. It's ridiculously long inside. Did you ever dunk the state feeds Kumaji matched up with Lammers? Still nine to shoot, C.J. Walker to the basket. Career against the Yellow Jackets. Against a variety of coaches. Baseline jumper, knocked down for Kofer. The shot clock, and for Florida State, they want to get off to that big early lead. Up high, one-handed throwdown, Phil Kofer. It changed everything. No question about that, 23 career double-doubles for Lammers is on the bench, as man right down the middle. Two and a foul. Up there playing with two fouls. And he goes to work offensively. He'll take it. Gets his own rebound. His third offensive rebound for Alvarado. Gaze tip in. And they count it plus the foul. Coaches are more sympathetic to their own team than their opponents. Angola unable to finish. But Kumaji was there. 0 for 2 thus far. And that pass deflected and stolen. Ryan Angola takes it for 2 and a foul. Akogi runs his defender through a screen and knocks down the jumper. Georgia Tech 3 and 3 in the league. Lammers has a chance for a three-point play. Then Georgia Tech has gotten tougher in the lane. Lammers meeting Walker at the rim there, and now Alvarado's on the board. See, that's what Okogi does so well. Field goals in this game from either side. Yellow Jackets 0 for 5, Seminoles 0 for 3. Man, thinking a 2, and a bank at home. After Georgia Tech went on an 8-0 run, Seminoles on a 6-0 response. Lammers got it. He's good about 15, 17 feet, can knock that jump shot down. Strong take to the rim. Terrence Mann getting tough. Georgia Tech in these next five minutes. Get to the half in a reasonably close game. Get to the half with Alvarado only with two fouls. Maybe get to the half without turning it over like this. The bodies out there. Why not? Alvarado, tough shot, got it. Cole got his hand in, knocked it away. Florida State gets it back. Allen to the basket. Knocks down a pair at the line. Let's see how Georgia Tech manages this last uh, three minutes. I don't want to do it like that. No, and uh, nobody really identifying where the ball is like that. How about that? Lammers knocks down the long two. Man, strong to the rim. Very explosive moves. I mean, he just goes right by a Kogi on that play. They've been giving him that little brush to get to his right hand in the lane. And it career high is 25. Kofer. Why not? Ten straight games. There's the up and under. Kofer's got a dozen now in the half. Clock winding down. Terrence Mann. Yes, sir. 21 and a half for the junior from Lowell, Massachusetts. Not a lot of offense to spread around. Most points in the first half of Mann's career. How about Brandon Alston 
Oh, getting the Yellow Jacket started on the right foot in the second half. He played every minute of this game. Alvarado gets the three to fall. That gives him some uh, renewed confidence. Timeout was called by Leonard Hamilton. And inside, it's Keanu Kelly. Comes in, gets a quick bucket. Alston working on Angola. Gets it to go. Gay to Alvarado, rejected. Gay sneaks in for the rebound. Stays tough inside and scores. Shot clock at nine. On the drive. Yes. Angola. Great help from the weak side. Fortunate bounce to Gay. Alvarado, three. Not stay down for him. MJ Walker, the rebound. Seminoles quickly down the floor. Trent Forrest against two Yellow Jackets gets two. Jackson inbounds and throws it to a white jersey. Intercepted by Forrest, a hit to man. He didn't defer there. Here come the Seminoles. Forrest to the corner, Walker. Yes. Corner three for Haywood wouldn't fall. A Kogi has been in on the glass, he hits Lammers for the slam. Frank Beamer. Walker feeling it. For MJ Walker to kind of erupt, he had scored single digits five games in a row before 24. And goodness, Ben Lammers chance for a three-point play on the dive. Into the game, the lead is 10. Akogi finds some daylight, knocks down the two-point jumper. Isaac. You get, you get under double figures right here. People get a little tense in the building. And maybe a seven-point game as Alvarado with a hoop and the harm. There, you're going to have some toughness. Alvarado's 0 for 2 with the line tonight, though. And there's a strong take. Reverse layup for Mann, who's now got 28. Around the horn, Terrence Mann looking for a 30-point night. Oh, yeah! Weak side covered with the offensive rebound. Good ball movement. Angola knocks down the three. Ten second mark and then turn their offense loose and turn that man loose. Man to Angola. Dagger. No, it's uh, uh, Georgia Tech is kind of like is Virginia light. You know, with uh, a little uh, bit. But, you know, they it just they have. Took one of the chops and is bleeding and tried to give the foul. Florida State with the exclamation point. Trent Forrest up and under. Penis Gebbin is playing terrific basketball. Alvarado for three. Florida State improves to nine and one at home this year. They've won. 30 of their last 31 at home since Georgia Tech beat them two years ago.